Hi, I'm Trent and I'm a records engineer and I'm studying mechanical and aerospace engineering. Hi, I'm Xu and I'm a records engineer. I'm studying electrical and computer engineering. When I was a little kid, like I, re I lived close to an airport growing up, so when I, like the planes would always fly overhead. Like you'd run outside, you'd look up, and they would just be flying overhead, and it was really cool. So like I always like grew up, and I was like, oh, I want to build planes when I get older. I was always fascinated by things that fly, so like I built, like, I really liked math and science. So I decided that that was something I wanted to do, and something that was practical, and not as theoretical as pure science. So I decided to be an engineer. I really like being at Rutgers because it's like a great community. It's actually like a lot more open and interactive. I actually met like a couple upperclassmen and they really helped me out, which I thought was really nice that we interact so closely with them. One thing we do a lot at Rutgers is research. And like you work closely with a professor and you go through like different research topics. Professor Denda and his project is that they're working to make like micro aerial vehicles and like recreate the, the flight of bugs. They want to make robotic insects. So with that, I was really excited and I emailed him and I actually got a response back that day, which is really cool. But the professors at Rutgers really do make time for their students, whether it's office hours or any questions even, you could just knock on their door and they're usually there and they're really helpful. Just by like uh, the frames, like this. So I started doing research at Rutgers for an autonomous underwater vehicle. So that's when I got interest in doing um, like autonomous systems and just electrical systems in, mechanical, in the mechanical field. So I got involved in Professor Denda's research through a friend. We get like specialized people working together on a common project, which is what you're gonna see in real world, like real engineering firms. Like you're not gonna have like four aerospace engineers design a plane. You're gonna have aerospace, you're gonna have mechanical, you're gonna have electrical. You're gonna have a whole bunch of different types of engineers working together. So it kind of like more models the real life situations that we're gonna have later in life. Like it's really close to what you're gonna see after graduation and in the field.